Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to talk about Daxton and all of his first foods, what I've been feeding him, I've been making like if how I've been making my own baby food and how I decided what to start him on and blah 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 because I keep getting a lot of questions about this, about what he's eating and how I chose what to feed him. So like a lot of stuff says to start them on like oat cereal or rice cereal, something simple. Um, and like the fortified cereals from the store. But my personal preference was that when I read it, read the ingredients and realized how processed it was, I just felt like they weren't really getting any nutrients from the food anyways. They were more likely getting, the only nutrients they were getting was the vitamins and minerals added to it, which is fine. But I just prefer to make my own food anyways and have it fresher. So, um, I tried to make my own oat cereal and he liked it, but then I got reading and it kind of said that like grains can be hard on their digestive tracts, hard on their digestive tracts as a first food. So I decided to kind of stop feeding him that for a little bit and just do vegetables and fruits instead. So <clears throat> yeah. He's been really good at eating. He started showing signs that he was interested in food around like just before five months. He was reaching for our food. He was watching us eat. He was opening his mouth and just showing a lot of interest. And although they say don't start them on foods till six months, I started him around five, just after five months because he seemed interested and ready. And so I started giving him a little bit of food here and there and then slowly started adding more. And so the first food I really started feeding him was sweet potatoes and he did really well with them and so they recommend like waiting three days between introducing new foods so that their digestive tract can get used to it and start producing the enzymes to break it down um so if you're starting new foods it's really good to just introduce one wait a couple days before introducing another so you can make sure that they don't have any allergic reactions they don't seem to have issues tolerating it and it's just easier for their little tummies to digest if you do it slow so I did sweet potatoes first, waited about three days, then introduced peas. He didn't like peas right away, so I just mixed them with the sweet potato and then slowly started taking out sweet potatoes so that there was more peas so that he'd end up eating greens by themselves because I think that's important um, for him to enjoy vegetables and not only want the sugar. So I've been trying really hard to have him actually like greens and not just all the sweet stuff. Um, that's also why I didn't introduce fruit right away, but then I stumbled across like this medical medium guy on Instagram who, um, actually one of my followers sent me a post from a lady who followed him and had been feeding their baby a bottle of blended avocado and banana. And those two foods apparently are like the next best thing to breast milk for the nutrients that babies need. So I was like, oh, okay. So I guess I should start giving them those foods because that's seemed like a good idea so I knew I wanted to do avocados and so that was I think the next food I did um, after peas and sweet potatoes I introduced avocado and all I do for that is I just like mash it with a fork fresh um, he can eat so much so like I was only doing a quarter but he would eat half an, an avocado at a serving so um, I started giving him avocados then I would mash bananas I mashed strawberries, he loves strawberry and banana together, and like all of these foods I just left three days in between, and now because he's been eating for like a month, he eats two meals a day. I think he could almost eat three, but I'm still just doing two right now. Um, what, what, what? So I did bananas, strawberries, sweet potatoes, peas, and so now I've introduced spinach, so I blended my spinach into the peas. Um, and he's tolerating it really well. I've also introduced eggs because I was reading that said a lot of parents wait to introduce those allergen foods because they're worried about the reaction the babies might have, but it can actually cause them to be more allergic if you put it off. So I introduced eggs, he's been fine. I only gave him a bite the first day, second day a little bit more, and now he's eating about half an egg a day. I give him eggs with breakfast and then I give him fruit at breakfast. So like I'll give him half an egg and banana or like bananas with pears is what I'm doing now. So I've introduced pears and all of these foods. So like my eggs, 
I just scramble one quickly in a frying pan and then give him little chunks. Um, I force him to bite it if it's a bigger chunk before I put the whole chunk in his mouth so that he's aware he's about to chew it instead of like the pureed stuff. Um, my bananas, avocados, strawberries, I mash. My peas, I cook and then food processor them. My pears, I cooked on a stove top and then food processor them. I'll put those two recipes in this video. My sweet potatoes, I just bake them wrapped in an oven. That's all I do, bake it at like 450 for 30 to 45 minutes till they're soft, take it out, and then it's already mashed. Like you don't need to puree it, so that's all I do. And then I scoop it up, um, freeze all the extra portions from this food. I've also given him baby mum mums the crackers just to help teach him how to chew and eat bigger food and he really seems to like them. What is it? Oh this food talk is I hungry. So yeah, I feed him right now, he's been eating solids for almost a month. He eats half a banana, half an egg in the morning, maybe a little bit extra fruit, like half a pear or whatever. I've been adding pears in there now. Um and then I've also at so dinner is now like peas, spinach and avocado all mixed together and then I do like sweet potato or something and I don't know I don't know if I'm going to introduce him to meats ever or when um I'm just going to stick to more fruits and veggies and you're very loud and I'm slowly just going to keep adding in new vegetables so like my next plan is to do broccoli and cauliflower I think or like carrots um and so if you're interested in those recipes then just comment below or something and then I'll post them or share a video showing how I do it but yeah I've been enjoying making all my homemade food I find it really easy these are all foods I eat also so for me cooking them I just cook them and then food processor them food processor them if I need to freeze the extras I mean mashing a banana or a fresh fruit and avocado is super easy takes a couple seconds um, yeah so that's all I fed him so far and I mean he seems to be really enjoying it he can eat a lot I don't know if your babies eat a lot too but like he I can feed him I could probably feed him a whole banana and like the kid can just keep eating like they say they'll tell you when they're full they'll stop and they'll start moving their head away this kid's always like ah, ah, like wanting more always always so I, I, I don't know I try to just give him like two decent meals his poops are huge. I don't know, like his poops ever since starting solids, like the first day starting solids are now solid. They're not like breast milk poops anymore. And like yesterday, I'm not even shitting you. <laughs> his poop was like this big in his diaper, like the size of his butt. I like could feel it. And I'm used to like little nuggets kind of thing. Like he's been, ah! like having kind of loggish poops, like human poops. But this was like a big old pile of shiz and I was just, how did the baby produce that much? Like where did it come from? But um, he was straining a little bit for a few days there. Started the straining for a few days. So I introduced a little bit of cream juice. He seemed to really like it, but I really don't want to have him get used to juice. Uh, so I don't want to use it too much, but it definitely helped him poop without pain. So I've kind of been letting him sip on a little bit every day. I don't know if this is good or not like I've been giving I shouldn't say every day like I've been leaving a day in between so far his poops have been normal I know some people say like it's normal to miss poops for a few days when I first started solids it was like every two days he was pooping but his normal schedule before that was daily and so now he is back to daily poops here and there he'll miss a day and like yesterday he missed the day before so the poop yesterday was just ginormous you got the big poo poos you got the big bubbles. But I've noticed, I think it could be the teething, but he's not breastfeeding properly during the day anymore. He's like very fussy at the breast. And I think it's because of the teeth are like it hurts teeth, gums, whatever to feed. That's what I've read. So I think that's why he's enjoying the solid because it's cold on his teeth or gums, whatever. And so yeah we've been adding more solids he feeds at night now really well so he'll do a solid both boob feed at about 3 a.m and then sometimes at 7 but like i don't know if that's normal uh for them to like i guess it is once they're eating they're not going to breastfeed that much but um, yeah that's about all i can say for his solid foods and then 
interested maybe I'll do like a full day of eating showing you everything he eats in a day so that you can see how I prepare it uh, I have a recipe for the peas how I make them how I added my spinach and then the pears how I made them and I'm gonna throw that in here right now hey guys so ooh, um, I'm just about to make Daxon his peas and maybe a few other foods uh, I make all of my own baby food right now just because I'm finding it pretty easy um and then you get way more and I found it's cheaper so I'm about to make peas and if I make anything else I just figured I would show you because I get a lot of questions about it I figured what a better way than to make a little video these are the peas I'm using just some organic green peas I don't know where you can find fresh peas so this is what I'm using I'm going to open it up throw it in the pot boil it and once they're soft so I boil for like maybe like th it says two to three minutes but usually about like five and then well two to five let's say two to once they're boiled I throw them in the food processor this camera man it's still so close to my face once they're boiled I'll throw them in the food processor and then I store them and all of the extra good dark all of the extra I will put in the freezer and then I'll keep some in the fridge um, I have like these little container things that I use I have like a, I bought like a package of them and that's what I put the extra in so I'm gonna make those peas and then I will show you when they're done I'm also gonna try making some pears for the first time because I think he's kind of struggling a little bit with uh, not super bad constipation he's pooping but he strains a bit and so pears apparently can help for that I've given prune juice and it really helped he pooped like three times still solid poops but it really helped him so I've used it but I want to see if I can avoid giving him juice every day because I don't want him to get used to juice so I'm gonna try making some pears I'm just using Andrew pears I'm gonna cut them up into little pieces and then put them in a saucepan with some water so I've just got the pear in a pan. Yep, my pan's dirty because it had eggs in it this morning, but I just threw some water in it and then the cutted, the cutted, the pitted and cut pears. Now, put the lid on it, let it kind of boil, cook down, and then I'll food processor both of them. The peas are already. So, peas are cooked. I put them in the food processor and I've added about a half a cup to three quarter cups of water because the first time I made it, they were pretty dry and I find. Um, if you add more water or are making sure your baby's hydrated, then he has a better time pooping. So I'm adding a little bit of water now so that I don't have to keep adding it every time I make peas. So, about three quarter cup of water in the food processor. Peas are in there. I just put them in hot. There you go. It was like literally less than a minute and it's totally done. All done. So, um, I'm not giving any iron fortified cereals um that's just my own personal preference because i find that they're very processed and i feel like he can get all the nutrients he mostly needs from whole foods at home so and then of course like i just was doing much reading about how grains and stuff can be hard on digestive digestive tracts when they're young so doing mostly fruits and veggies right now and so i'm gonna add spinach to my peas if you're just starting out on foods, I wouldn't do this because you want to make sure that they're okay with peas first before adding anything else. But I know he's okay with peas and I've had him try a little bit of spinach before and there was no reaction. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the spinach in his pea so that it's like two servings of greens at once. I've just added spinach on top of those peas that I just showed you were all pureed up. I'm going to pre puree these together and then I'm gonna be done and just package them put some in the fridge and put some in the freezer and so there you go that's like less than a minute pure spinach and that will give him some iron right Dex? it didn't give you iron in your food so you can get healthy and strong so for the pear I just waited until it was soft and then threw it into the food processor and it's done so i've already packed some away and i forgot to show you but it just pureed it to be soft left the skin on so like it gives it some texture because of that and then i've packed away and all of the peas and greens and that's it 
And so like I'll keep one or two of these out in the fridge for him and then these two will get frozen until I need them next time. And like these are yams I made earlier in the week and so those are from the freezer. All fresh, super easy, literally took me less than 20 minutes. One more thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention was that I have given him a little teeny weeny taste of peanut butter. Um, I was reading that it's recommended to test it on their skin first. So like put some peanut butter on their skin, watch it, see if they react. And then I waited a day and gave him like the teeniest little bit in his mouth. But because I just started new other new foods, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait a few more days until I give it like a full serving. So I think in like two more days, I'm gonna give him, it says to like mix it with water. I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna mix it with banana. Just because if you don't mix it with water, then it can be too thick and apparently it can be choking hazard. So I'm gonna mix a little bit into his banana because peanut butter and banana taste good. Um, and just see how he does with that. I've seen other people just spread a little bit on like a baby mum mum. Uh, but yeah, definitely try introducing some allergen foods. Someone else I know said that they were worried and so they just gave it to him right in front of the hospital and then waited and saw within an hour if they had an issue. But of course, if you, if, like I don't have any allergies in my family. So if you're someone who has allergies in your family to nuts, or eggs or whatever um apparently it's recommended to wait and talk to your pediatrician till they till they think your baby is ready so for me i don't have any allergies in my family so i was okay to just go ahead and try but if you have allergies in your family check with your doctor before giving your baby allergen foods um and i also have been giving not much spices in the food yet because i'm just like everything a lot of the spices i have in my cupboard right now have sodium so i don't want to you're not supposed to give baby salt so i've given him cinnamon in his eggs in his eggs <laughs> baby's crying i gotta like brush it here i've given him cinnamon in his banana one time i gave him a little too much it got around his face and it turned really red but he was fine so i just wanted to say that like if you give too much cinnamon that's a super common reaction is the redness so just tone down on the cinnamon try not to give too much and it's really normal if they get it on their face that they'll get a little bit of redness so I just wanted to throw that in there as some tips and yeah my main goal is just keeping it simple um, fruits and veggies are great for us for babies and so they're really easy for them to digest and so that's what I'm keeping it with for a while I guess so I introduce enough and I'm like okay he can try new things so um, yeah and then, I mean here and there I've given him little bites of like toast yeah mama's got you <laughs> okay um, I also actually in the beginning was because I wasn't giving him avocado and stuff yet. I put a teeny bit of coconut oil in his peas, um, just because it's really important that they're getting fats in their diet. Um, you could try any fats really. And I also want to mention, ah, cause he wasn't drinking water at the time. He still is like kind of weird with water in a bottle or even a sip cup. He's kind of doesn't drink. He just like gnaws on the on the nipple what do you do that for and so i started adding a little bit of water to his peas to just try and hydrate him through his food not a lot so it's runny but enough that it was like a little bit just a little more moisture in his food so that is something you could try also <clears throat> just adding a teeny bit of water or liquid breast milk whatever you want to do to their food to help keep them hydrated because when they start solids it's super common for them to get all bunged up and then they're in pain and it's not comfortable to be bunged up so that's what I did and so far so good he seems to be <clears throat> pretty regular with his poops so yeah hope this video is helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can message me anytime with DMs or like comment below on videos you'd like to see I'd love to know and hear from you guys what would be helpful um, in the type of content you want to see me producing so Duxton say <laughs> Dex are you trying to poop now you're a very noisy grunty boy you're a very noisy grunty boy Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. See you next time. Say bye. Say bye. Yeah. You guys see the smile. Get the soother out. You smile. Hey, that is you. That is smile. Yeah. Okay.
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.